hi, uh, you're here about the room? Come on in. Thank you so much for meeting us on such short notice. Um, your original email didn't tell us a whole lot, so would you mind telling us about yourself? The self is a construct. For good men to fight the corruption, crime, and filth of this city, one must abandon the self and become something greater. A symbol. A legend. I am a legend. I am the Black Magpie. Damn, man. That's like some Batman sh Batman never killed anyone. So, uh, is this something you've been doing for a while? Fighting crime and corruption isn't a thing you do. It is a glorious burden I will carry until the day I die. I was orphaned at five years old. My dad was murdered and my mom died three weeks before I was born. I would have died too if I had not been saved by a parliament of magpies. A group of magpies is called a parliament, look it up! I was able to survive by selling all the trinkets and truly the crafty bird stole from me until I became a man. But after years of living in the streets, I feel like it's time to live amongst the people. Join society. Oh, well, uh, that's pretty cool. Um... I think it says a lot that you're trying to do that. Uh, Ian, a word? Look, I know he's a little eccentric, but at his core, I think he's a good guy, and that matters in a roommate. Wait, what? What the hell are you talking about? Have you seen his jawline? What? Ian, look, he is handsome, okay? I can't live with someone who's more handsome than me. I mean, what would I do if I brought a girl over? You've never brought a girl over. And I never could if he was my roommate. I mean, just look at him. Prominent jawline, surging biceps, that abdominal V he's got going on. Nick, is there something you want to tell me? Look, Ian, all I'm saying is that that is my thing, okay? It's like, it's like I'm Hall and you're Oats. You know, like, handsome Hall, overly neurotic Oats. So, uh... I think I get the crime fighting thing, it's pretty cool, uh, but what do you do for income? I still sell the jewelry my magpie brethren provide me with. It's my perpetual struggle. I fight criminals every day, yet the very nature of my existence is that of a thief. A bird who absconds with valuables. How can I live with myself? How can I be? Two opposites at once. Look at how Hadi looks brooding. There's no way he can live with us. Say, how about we give you a tour of the kitchen? I like that. You know, you're pretty buff, dude. Do you go to the gym? Because there are none nearby. You know, it's probably not the best neighborhood for you to live in. I exercise by fighting the henchmen of my arch nemesis, Chef. And they're everywhere. <sighs> God damn it, he's got a great ass. Yeah, so this is the kitchen. Uh, we got a stove, a fridge, we just found a microwave, so we got all the basic amenities. And uh, this is where we keep the knives and forks and stuff. And you know, like, it, it's not as organized right now. I mean, Nick and I, like, we're literally not as clean as we could be. Uh, we used to have a room in the camp, and she used to just like, organize the stuff. And she was like, I mean, honestly, she was more like a mom than a friend. And, like, that's so okay, because, like, I guess I'm shiny. Someone who's done it. Because, like, I didn't really have the best relationship. Ah! What? what are you doing? No! Ah! Hey, man, you mess with Ian, you mess with me. Black magpie! Don't look at me, Ian! I can't fight my nature! I am the Black Magpie! You are a superhero. You save people. You'd be an excellent addition to the apartment. You don't know a thing about me! Yes, I do! Here. What is this? It's a clickbait article. Six amazing things the Black Magpie has done for the city. I wrote it about you a little while ago. It was a slow day at work. 
Number two, saving a furry who is stuck in a tree. Number four, stopping a speeding train by throwing his phone into the tracks. Number six, seeing something and saying something. I really have done a lot for this city. Sign the lease. You really want me to live here? We have no running water. <sighs> Wait a minute. This isn't my silverware. There's no way we could afford this nice silverware. Wait. Black Magpie! We meet again. I knew you'd fall for my luminescent death trap. <laughs> Chef! I knew only someone as dastardly as you would think to plant shining silverware in the apartment I was looking to sublet in an attempt to make me turn against my better nature. How did you get into my apartment? Nick let me in. This is one kitchen with too many cooks. Really? Follower! It is my purpose. But what about the lease? So far, you're actually the most sane person we've interviewed. A magpie has no fixed address. He flies wherever the sun glistens against a cheap trinket. I'll never forget you. I know. What happened? What did I miss? You got one shiny trinket I can't take my eyes off of. Nick! Get up! What happened? Where's Black Magpie? He's gone. He didn't sign the lease. Oh. Oh, well, that's, that's fine, you know, really, because I don't think he would have been a good fit, you know, now that I thought about it. I'm, I'm glad he's gone. Yeah. I'm glad he's gone.